first day. We all have that special person in our life whom we want to help, who might be a friend, a relative, uh, your parents, your kids, um, your well-wishers or anybody for that matter who might need your help. So this video is about uh, if you were to pray for somebody else, how can you pray for them and then ensure that they get the desired benefits at the end of the day. So if you are uh, looking for a method or ways so that steps we could take to pray for somebody else, this video is for you. This could easily be done from any place of the world uh, to any place of the world. What I mean by that is that when you can pray for any place in the world, in any geography, to any place in the world, wherever that person might be whom you want to help or pray for. So there are three simple steps that we can take from here. So I'll try to cover three steps in the beginning and in the next part of my video I will try to cover uh, situations where these methods may or may not work. So step one is to, uh, uh, so whomsoever you believe in, whatever faith or religion you have and how whichever posture or um, like I, I like to pray this way, if you want to do it in a different way this can easily be done. So step one is to really uh, evoke the God in terms of uh, your consciousness, you kind of um, kind of calm down your body and uh, you pray from trying to align your mind body and soul which is a little difficult for a lot of people but try to calm down relax your body uh, like your mind body and soul should be requesting to the Lord at this point of time so you kind of have a lot of respect surrender your ego your inner soul completely to the Lord uh, to the Lord or the God or the goddess whatever your form of uh, energy you believe in so you kind of surrender your ego to them in step one and, and take, uh, so that step one is just cooling down, relaxing your body, uh, your mind, your body and your soul within. And if you were to imagine the soul is somewhere here, um, like it's just imagine this is like a small size like this, it's somewhere over here um, next to your heart, closer to your heart. So that's step one is just that, just cool down, relax. Uh, let your mind, body and soul be be very respectful to the Lord, your religion, your faith you believe in. You try to align them and then surrender your ego to the Lord. That's step one. Uh, so I'll give it a little bit of time for you if you're doing it uh, on the go. Step two is all about taking a sankalpa, which is basically sankalpa quote unquote is a Hindi or a Sanskrit word which is basically we sort of take a pledge that we are going to pray on somebody else's behalf. So step two is all about to the same deity, to the same Lord, to the same consciousness or the Supreme Lord you have been praying now in step one. We kind of take a sankalpa that, hey Lord, sankalpa is basically a pledge. I'm taking a pledge that, hey Lord, address that Lord in your mind or in your uh, through your mouth or the vocal cords. Hey Lord, hey my Lord or oh my Lord, X, Y, Z. Uh, my name is so and so. I belong to the XYZ country and that geography and that part of planet Earth. Name that in your mind like for example you are in Canada, you belong to Ontario, you belong to whichever place, city, municipality or electoral district. Just think that in your mind because you are defining to the Lord that uh, wherever you are, uh, whom, whomsoever you are focused on, now please bring your kind attention to me, my mind, body and soul. I am praying to you Lord. And I belong to this XYZ geography of planet Earth. We start thinking like that. And then I am praying for XYZ person. So you name that person in your mind or through your mouth. It can be vocal, non-vocal, doesn't matter. So I'm praying. Vocal is a little better because when you say certain words, spiritually it is believed that <clears throat> you are doing that hard work yourself. And that person, uh, the deity or the God you are worshipping to is listening to you. So, And you are also listening to your own voice through your own voice through your ears so so you evoke that lot you kind of request them that I am here on this planet earth here this is where I belong in terms of physical location right now and I'm praying to you on behalf of XYZ person so that person's name and then whatever happens as a benefit of this so so whatever blessings I receive from you in return because there is an exchange of energy from you and the God and the Lord so the Lord you are praying to the Lord and the Lord is bringing that blessing back to you technically that's what it means so you are also saying that whatever happens as a benefit of this the blessings that you are going to give me please pass those benefits away instead to that person so 
In simple words, again, I'll re-emphasize, you are praying to the Lord, you name that person in your head that, Hey Lord, these are my prayers to you. And as a benefit of these prayers, whatever happens as an outcome or the blessings, please pass away those positive vibes, those benefits to that person, XYZ person. And he's located, he or she, wherever it is, located in that part of the globe. So you kind of, this is like a sankalpa process. So you named yourself, where you belong to, where you come from, which country, which geography, which location, which city. You're praying in the name of X, Y, to the, to the Lord, who, whoever you believe in that form of Lord. And all the blessings and the positive vibes or the benefits that may come back to me as a blessing may be passed on to that person. So, so basically, technically, to, to give you a context, in step two, what happens is that you are praying, this energy is going there to the Supreme Lord, it's coming back and it goes through somewhere in the center of your head, inside your body, in general process. When you pray for yourself, it happens like that. When you are praying for somebody else, in this case, in step two, what will happen is that the energy will go flow from your body out, go to the Supreme Lord and it will come. Instead of coming here, it will go right from here and go to that person. So that And step three is all about um, chanting So or, or praying. So there are three ways to pray in my religion or Hinduism, which is Tantra, Mantra. It's also scientific, by the way. So Tantra, T-A-N-T-R-A, -T Mantra, which is very famous in the West. So M-A-N-T-R-A, -A, Mantra or Yantra, Y-A-N-T-R-A. -A. So I leave that for a separate video. For now, we are doing prayers from the mouth or from the vocal cords. So we are applying the, the third part, which is the mantra part of it, which is M-A-N-T-R-A, -A, mantra part of it. So you are sort of, whatever is your prayer in your own religious term, just pray that. Whatever may be the words, utter those words. Uh, it's when, If it is like a small player, a prayer or a stanza or just a paragraph, or it can be sing, sang, you can sing it as a song. Uh, try to do it in the odd number. So let's say repeating is better than not repeating. So if you were to do prayer, like, for example, I would say uh, to Krishna, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. So you do it in odd numbers, like three times, seven times, 11 times. More is better, uh, but there are certain auspicious numbers that we can take. So you can go at least three if you don't have time, seven times, 11 times. 21 times is very better, very good. I do that, for example, personally myself. And if you can go 108 times, it's even better. Now you can do it from any place. So you might be like sitting in the back, somebody else is driving, you're sitting in a car, you are in an apartment, building, wherever, it doesn't matter. The place has to be just be a little clean and tidy place because positive energy requires tidiness and cleanliness to get that there. Um, if you are, let's say, next to a trash can, the, the energy cannot flow, for instance. So I hope you know that. So third part is just about, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> praying to that Lord and uh, passing away the benefits to somebody else and you also make sure that at the end of the day um, you repeat those prayers so vocally from your mouth so if you can do it odd numbers it's better uh, 21 is best uh, 108 times is even better so you can pray like that if not doesn't matter just do it one times if you're it will also go by uh, your faith religion or belief so you can do it let's say one time that is more than enough so this the step three is just to Repeat what you just did. You pray to the Lord, take the sankalpa, make the pledge that you are praying, praying on their behalf. All the benefits may be passed on to them. Third step is just acknowledging the fact that the prayer is done and the benefits has to be passed. And then you kind of calm down, repeat the prayer if you will, if you like, and just close the prayer. So uh, this is how you basically, in a simple three-step process, you pray on somebody else's behalf. And basically, whatever you are doing uh, as a prayer will be passed on as a benefit to the that person in general. So I hope uh, this video helps you. Thanks for watching. Namaste.